<laughs> what do you say? Hi. Hi. What is it? I got my tooth brushed. Okay, Ziggy 2.0. We're back for another chapter. Chapter 6. Of what book? Normal still print space mice. Beware space junk. Okay, can you look at the camera? Kind of make some eye contact. I know that's painful. You're doing great. Good job. And there's our cover. Good job. All right. With Keep... Geronimo. With Geronimo. Keep going, go for it. Okay. Chapter six. Watch out. Junk ahead. Do we have any do we have any pictures we need to see so we oh. have an idea of what's going on? There's the satellite. Oh, you sure are right. And this is, is that Robinix? Am I saying that right? Robotics. Robotics. Okay. And we have some fun lettering here. We've got, I can't see this word through the camera. Space gel. Professor Green Fur. Got knotted. Robotics. Space junk. Fun lettering. All right, go ahead. And colors. Space junk. Watch out, junk ahead. Okay. Space junk. What was my father talking about? Space junk is a colocalization. A col Oh, let me see that word. That's long. It is where it is long. Okay, let's tip it here so we can. I can see the prefix at the beginning. Yes. Conglomeration. Now let's see if you can. Conglomerate oration. Okay, let's break it up again. Conglomeration. Good job. Good job. Of many un unwanted objects that were floating through space, explained Professor Greenford, Master of One's re recent scientist. I think that's. Word is resident. Take Re a resident scientist. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Sally nodded it in agreement and squeaked. I think I saw a piece of an old motor, but robotic, the ship's know it all multi purpose robot corrected her. To be precise. Yep. There's robotics. And there is the satellite. Yep. All right. But mostly, it has a little antenna on the top. It does. Why do you think it has an antenna? That's how it's made. Yeah, so it can send and receive information. And so that it can fly, too. Mm, I don't think so. Usually, sal satellites like that send and receive information to the computers here on Earth. Computers and cameras and that sort of thing. To be precise, it's a piece of interstellar wave antenna, he said. Oh, try that again. That sounds mushy. To be precise, it was a piece of an interstellar wave antenna. Okay. He said. Are we in danger? I asked. I was worried about my ship and its crew. Not if we remain still, he explained. That's why I already turned off the motors. But if we can't start up the ship again, a piece of metal could damage the external hull. The what? Hull? External. Okay. To say it's smooth, try it again. External. Okay, we say external. External hull. But what do we do now? Trap asked impatiently. Wait until the junk floats away. Yes, but that could take days or even weeks, Professor Greenfield replied. So, small Scuda, we have to come up with another solution. Suddenly, I remember something I seen during the inspection that morning. We could collect the garbage and recycle it using the stellar garbage sort rigs, I suggested. That's a great idea, Benjamin ex exclaimed. We learned all about recycling in school. It could take weeks. There's the ship scientist, Mr. Greenfur. Look at the lettering. Professor Greenfur. Damage. Damage. Okay, and then we're over here. 
Solar Smoked Gouda. Stellar Garbage Sortex. Oh, here's Encyclopedia Galactica. Okay, from the Encyclopedia Galactica. Stellar Garbage Sortex. A superstellar piece of machinery that can analyze, break down, and recycle garbage and waste. The Stellar Garbage Sortex then uses the recycled materials to create small objects for use in daily life. And there's what the machine is supposed to look like. All right. Instead of throwing all the garbage out, the Sortex will divide it up based on the material it's made of, and it can be broken down and turned into new objects. Professor Greenford did some calculations. We should be able to clean everything up and get moving again in about three galactic hours. Everyone cheered. Well done, grandson, my grandfather said with a look of surprise on his snout. We knew that there was a reason. I appreciate, I, I appointed you, you captain of the spaceship. I couldn't believe it. Was grandfather really complicated me? Really what? Complicated me. Not complicated. Mm -hmm. Try that again. Completed it. Com complicated. Compli mm -hmm. Look at the word. Try to break it down. Complicating. Com meeting. M menting. Complimenting me. Do you know what a compliment is? What? When someone tells you that you're doing something right or you look good. Okay? Do you understand? It's a positive verbal reinforcement. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> that only happens once in the blue cheese moon. Um, wow, thanks, I replied, still stunned. And then Grandfather continued, since you had a, uh, su you had such a great great idea, Geronimo, I relate uh, you to the official space junk collector. Oh, I knew it. It was too good to be true. Come on, cuz, Trev said confidently. I'll come with you. A bit of exercise will be good for us. But also for our terrible space sickness, whenever I go on a spacewalk, I squeaked in protest. In protest. Oh, you'll be fine, Trap replied. There was nothing I could do. A few moments later, I was wearing the spacesuit and headed up toward the cosmos and pick, to pick up the trash. Suddenly, I heard Sally's voice through the microphone in my helmet. When you're ready, I'll activate the vacuum, she explained. You'll use it to suck it up, uh, to suck up all the space junk. Fancy letters, throwing new objects, calculation, surprise, an orange, blue cheese moon, blue cheese says something so gross, blue cheese is kind of stinky, that's not my favorite, all right, go ahead, ready, squeak, trap squeaked immediately, I still, I was still trying to, to figure out how my spacesuit worked, but it was too late. The vacuum was already on, and the tube had to wrap itself around me. Grab the handle, Geronimo! Trap yelled. Handle? I reached out to, to, and tried to aim the tube toward the, the ma a mass of garbage, but my paw ended up at the mallet at the tube instead. I was just st stuck inside. Trap! Help! I squeaked in terror. Luckily, he was quickly came to my rescue. Then a piece of trash, a trash got stuck in the tube and Sally had to reverse the flow to get out. We didn't move in time. It was, I was blasted by a spray of liquid garbage. Mousy meteorites, what a day. Grab the handle. Arg! Ah. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's an exciting uh, bit there, huh? Terror. Look at that in the kind of the brown letters. I guess it's a dark red. Mousy meteorites. And then what we have here, we have like a comic book page. I'll try to get closer here to see. Grab the handle. Arc. Oh, he's holding his breath. Oh. Help. Hey. <laughs> Careful. Ah. Oh, 
the excitement. There's Trap. And there's Geronimo. Geronimo and Trap. What's this right here? Trap and Geronimo, I think. All right. Is that the end of the chapter or do we have more? That's the end. All right. Bye-bye now.